What's up everyone, this is Henry. Um, today I'm going to be opening up with another one of the special um, stuff I've, I've got to open showing, showing you guys would be the, since I'm a, like a Transformer fan, um, today I'm going to be opening up this, this special, uh, one of those uh, figures of the uh, Takara version from J Japan. It's the uh, Transformers uh, Age of Extinction figure uh, from Takara. It's the Dinobot Slug, so which is pretty cool, that's what it looks like, the, the box. And um, I'm actually really excited to open this, so because I had I took some time to think about whether I open it or not, but now now is the time that I get the chance to open it. So before I open it, so I'll show you the back what it looks like. Basically, the Takara ones are very different compared to Hasbro. Um, Hasbro is basically a uh, Hasbro um, company usually do like a normal uh, paint, so it's not like one of those uh, realistic, uh, you know like uh, effects off the, the figures and stuff but the C Takara it's got more detail into it and like more like a bit shiny and more reflective like effect on that so so that's why uh, I, it looks like here so you'll probably see there's some silver parts this is like this uh, box here is a G1 version so it, this figure obviously is from the Age of, Age of Extinction from the movie but the, the colour of paint job of this it's from the, it's all silver mostly, it's from G1 colour version. So I'm actually looking forward to this, so, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to try and open this and now, so let's get let's get to it anyway, so. Bear in mind with my uh, tripod guys, so, because my tripod is pure mucked up at the moment, still. Um, I am trying to get, plan to buy a new one at some point. So just bear with me guys, because this tripod is it's hating me at the moment, so. Okay, it should work great. Hope you guys can uh, see this properly. So, so yeah, basically I'm gonna open this and now see what it looks like. Cause, see, cause it's all uh, sticky taped, right? Okay, but I'm actually really looking forward to opening this. Cause uh, I seen it a bit advertised and stuff, and uh, for the Hasbro version, but the Carl version is like is more nicer, and then the Hasbro one. So I, I do like Hasbro versions of it, but it's just that the Carl has a. Uh, more nice detail on it to be honest so that's why uh, i bought this from if uh, at this um this set so if you wonder where i got this i actually got this from one of the conventions uh last month ago or so uh, it was at granite city comic con basically what happened was um one of the dealers were selling it and i was like i didn't realize they, they were selling it i didn't know that it would exist back that, that, that back then so so i was really excited to be honest so i decided I had to buy it they have Grimlock as well, but I decided by not buy the Dinobot Slug because he's not on my list. But I've already got Grimlock in the the other set from the Age of Extinction uh, figure, so it's a leader class I got it from. So the other one. So there's no point in me getting the Takara version of him. So because I just get I just decide buy the ones that I like. You know what I mean, so that is on my list. So I, I don't buy like hard, like a really hardcore Transformers fan. You know what I mean, so. I would have, but I, I I don't think I'll have any space for my for my room at the moment. So let, let's see what we can let's see what we, what's in it, man. Because oh okay, so it's all uh, tied up. <laughs> so I don't want to damage the box actually because this box is. I just didn't expect this would happen. Well, no wonder they were actually stick uh, stuck to all, uh, so much sticky tapes. I was wondering why there was so many sticky tapes, but now I know why. It's all sealed. Try and keep the the figure safe. So basically, there's a uh, it's, that should be a structure manual, but it's in Japanese. But at least I know how to transform. I guess maybe so. And then this is the the weapon set that uh, Dinobot Slug carries uh, in his robot mode. So it's like a wee two swords, pretty much. So so that's why. So here we go. Oh, that is really nice, actually. Let's see. This, this is really nice, but I'm going to try and keep the box, man, because I need to keep it safe. This, this is really, I actually really like this, actually. This is, this is totally mint condition. I actually really, really like this, actually. I know I'm going to get the other Dinobot Slug, uh, the other version at some point, because I actually love the the, 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 the robot mode and, well, the, the alt mode and the, was it the, the robot mode of it? Well, Dinobot mode and the robot mode, so... Oh, sorry, just checking my phone. Okay, so sorry, I was just distracting my phone. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh wow, this is this is really amazing actually. I might 
keep this out of my display actually. This is really nice. Oh my goodness. Look at the paint job of this. This is really fantastic. It, this this paint job of all this, this is from G1 by the way. So like the generation one. So this is really nice. It, there's a difference between the other version one. Because the other one is like from... The other one is like a movie... Uh, there's the movie version, the, the colour of it. So this one's like... They got the same design of this, right? Uh, from the movie, but they changed the different colour of customization of the G1 version. So I actually... I, I do like both of the G1 and the other one, so I'm trying to see what the difference is to this one, but but this one's totally different. I actually really like this one. Um, this is really, really cool. I wish I could transform it uh, in a moment, but it's just that. It's, I'll show you the transformation, uh, the, 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 the picture of the transformation, what it looks like. That one here, I don't know if you can see it properly, that's what it looks like. It should be like that, um, to transform. So... Even though it's in Japanese destruction manual, I don't know if I'll be able to transform him. But I just want to show you this kind of robot mode of this, like the Dinobot mode, because I actually like the Dinobot mode. Um, no, this is so much difference in that. I mean, so the paint is it's really that nice. Actually, I really like it. I want to try and get the other version, see what the, the comparisons actually for this one. So this one's like a wee special um, edition, guys. So because I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll be able to transform him actually because I just liked this robot mode. So I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got another transformer. Uh, obviously, this is a Hasbro version. So if you see that color there, that's it's like a paint. It's just like it's boring paint, just like that. But see the other one. This one's got more effective. It's more shinier. So it's just it's insane. I mean, I actually really it's more cre uh, creative actually this one. So I'm quite happy with. Um, on both locations, I don't mind with Hasbro or Tic or Takara ones, but um, the Takara one, it's, I would say, is more nicer. I would say, but it's just the uh, shows of the comparison. I would say, like the differences, you know, because I because I get told about the I think I heard about Hasbro and Takara ones, and uh, uh, I think a year or a year ago. So, so I decided to you know what I'm gonna buy both and see what it looks like, and then and I bought one of them, obviously this one, the Dinobot Slug. So I'm gonna get the other version at some point soon, either from Transformers The Last Night or the one from Age of Extinction version, so it just depends, but I like the, I like the jaws of it, it can move, so that's pretty nice, the the, the, the gold and silver colour paint is really nice, um, it's just, this is totally G1 man, this is really fantastic, I actually really, this I would say this is one of my favourite Dinobots I would say, so because of all the Dinobots I've seen, um, like from my past when I was young and stuff, uh, I actually love Dinobots Slug because the Triceratops, I think they call it, I think. So he's one of my favourites, like uh, one of the favourite dinosaurs uh, back then. So, And this one's really nice actually, so I just keep moving the jaw because I actually love the jaw that they can move up and down. So I actually really like this, even though they've got the Orbot logo in that point, so that's, that's really nice. Um, it's just that. I don't know, it's really nice actually, it's just, it's just so different compared to the ones from the Hasbro version of the colour, because the other, they've got the other one as a purple colour version, so I just want, I don't know if I can transform them, because, because uh, the instruction manual is in Japanese though, it's just, it's really complicated man, the way, the way I see it man, I mean, so, I wish I could transform him, but, let's see, they've got instruction manual there, it's in Japanese, Oh, okay, this is, this is unusual. <laughs> Alright, okay, it's, it's not as hard as thought, actually. I mean, it just takes step by step. Yeah, it just takes step by step, by step but, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought, I mean, but I might transform them later, I would say, because it's just, I just want to show you guys this, I mean, because I, I, this, this one's going to go on my display at some point, because I really want to put this up in you know, instead of transforming into the the robot mode. Oops. This one's quite stiff, man. Yeah, this one's really, really stiff for some reason. It's not meant to happen. Yeah, it's quite stiff for some reason. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that's what it looks like, guys. Um, with this Dinobot version. You know, I wish I, could tra I wish I could transform the other one, but I'm going to keep this one. But if you're not sure what it looks like, the, the robot mode... It's, that's it here, that, that robot mode, if you can see it properly, hopefully, guys. 
Um, so that's what it looks like there. Um, the Dinobot, that's what it looks like that. But I'm going to keep this one on my display actually, on my room, uh, on my shelf. Because I actually love Dino, uh, one of the Dinobots. So, but yeah, that's what it looks like guys. So, it's a, I would say this is, a, like, this is one of my uh, favourites by far of the Takara. Because this is my first time buying Takara Transformer figure. So, because I never expected it. So yeah, that's what it looks like guys. So I'm quite happy with it. So, oh, sorry guys. Stay tripod, okay, because that tripod is pure messing with me. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, what you see, what you guys think about the, uh, about this figure and stuff. Um, like if you're a Transformer fan and stuff. Um, I actually quite like this, obviously, the look of it. So, um, because I got it from the one of the conventions at Grand City Comic Con. So, um, I don't know if they sell it online. I don't know if they sell it. <coughs> if it depends whereabouts, if you're lucky, because I just got it from the convention. So. I can't tell you where, where else I, I, uh, if they can get it anywhere else, to be honest. So I'm just that lucky, to be honest, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and then see what you think about this uh, this set. You know what I mean? And then uh, let me know if any other places that I can try and buy it as well. So anyways, I'm going to try to head off now, So because like, I'm going to try play around with this and just transform them, see what it looks like and stuff. So maybe, or maybe not, I might keep it like that. So anyways... Please uh, subscribe, like, and comment and see what you think about this set, set because it really looks really cool. Anyways, I'm going to head off now. I'll see you guys soon, right? Peace.